Hey guys, what's up? JD from JD Tech TV here, and there's probably a few things that you should know about me. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, which is probably an understatement. I read way too many books about physics, astronomy, and astrophysics, as that's what my degree is in. I own a lab coat, and not ironically, I actually use it. But the thing that I am most proud of is that I am a self-proclaimed kiddult, which is a kid and an adult squeezed into one. And let's be honest, adulting isn't always the most fun thing to do, so maintaining that sense of childhood wonderment is pretty much the only thing that keeps my hair from falling out. Well, more hair from falling out, so. Anyway, that childhood is preserved in a few ways. I go to Disney all the time, I have quite a few Star Wars Lego sets which my wife so graciously lets me display in the house, and I collect these little Funko dolls which you've probably seen in some of my videos. But at some point there comes a time where you want to show off your nerddom in a more sophisticated manner. That's where this comes in. This is the Minimal Element Blocks, five perfectly machined square blocks that's actually made out of the metal that's engraved on them. There is aluminum, titanium, iron, copper, and tungsten. For those of us who remember our periodic table, you'll notice that each block even has the atomic number, atomic weight, and the electron configuration etched right into the metal. And these aren't just different colored metal blocks with the elements printed on them. Each block is actually made from those metals. That means that the aluminum block is really gonna be over 10 times lighter than the tungsten block. Now, I could just place these on a scale and show you the weight difference, but there's really not that much fun in that. I would rather you hear the difference of the weight of these things and show you exactly how heavy duty these are. All right, we'll use the aluminum block, which has an atomic weight of 26.981, if I remember, right? Yep. And we'll also use the tungsten block, the heaviest one, and that has an atomic weight of 183.84. I know that one for sure. Yep, I'm right. All right, so listen, whenever I drop the aluminum one, it's not bad. And here's the tungsten one. Oh, that was really heavy. Oh my God, I tented this. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, I'm sure you're asking, JD, why are you showing us these? This isn't the traditional tech that we're used to you talking about, and I hear you. But I felt like this was something that not only would appeal to my tech-loving audience, but also that I would give you a sneak peek of what a future desk setup will be based off of. I want to create a custom desk setup incorporating every single element sitting here. Did I touch each one? And that's where I best think that this is displayed is right on a desk. What makes a great looking desk are the small accents and items that you display, which show your personal interests and personality. So if you wanna pick one of these up for yourself or for that special nerd in your life, I have placed links in the description down below for you to check them out for yourself. And if you have any suggestions or ideas for how you think that I can incorporate these elements into an amazing desk setup, let me know in the comment section. Your idea might actually make it into the final design. In the meantime, you'll likely be seeing these in future videos and B-roll segments and things like that. I mean, come on, it looks too good not to, right? So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.